Did that game remind you of Washington State's last year? Uh, yeah, it actually did. We were, um, me and the boys were all sitting there, man. It's crazy you say that because we said that before it even was up. We was just like, just like Washington State, man. We've been here like we never lost doubt in the, our our preparation. So it was just like we really like the D line was like just like Washington State, like. And then you see Boston get the pick, and we're like, dang, just like Washington <laughs> State, I guess. So it was like a jinx for us. So we were just laughing on the sideline, just. But I think our prep, we really, we really fell down to our preparation. I think Landing and the guys did a lot, a great job of just coaching us up that entire week and just kind of talking about adversity. And like, that was the biggest thing he talked about this week. And I think it showed up for us, man. We left a lot on the table. I feel like I left a lot on the table. I feel like as a defense, we left a lot. And I know that offense feels like they left a lot and that wasn't our best performance, but I feel like we, we fought it. We, we played a really good team, man. We, I'm just happy to get out of there with the dubs. So, so you can ask for it. What do you feel like the, you guys as a defense in particular left on the table? What, what do you mean by that? Um, for us, it was more just putting communications on film. We had we could we could have got a couple more sacks than we did. I missed a couple sacks, tackles, and just kind of just talking up front, you know, just kind of getting home and keeping Tyler in the pocket. And I think that's one thing we got to work on, especially with these few games coming up, especially this week too. Just kind of working on those things we messed up, so opponents don't use that as a kind of as a weakness for us. Yeah, it can be hard to kind of take lessons from a win. When you lose, yeah. you know, you, you obviously, yeah. you know, you see areas for growth. It can be a little more challenging not to get satisfied with a win. How do you feel like you guys have embraced that attitude the last couple of days? Oh, just going to the doctors, like Lanny says, like people talk about that, but that's something he really preaches is going to the doctor. So we all came in, you know, he talked about that. It was a great game. It was, and he talked about how we beat ourselves, you know? So the thing for us was like cleaning up those small things and just talking about communicating. So then we went in and corrected all of our walk, all of the mistakes we made the games. And it kind of was nice to see that and be like, okay, like this is where I could have been better. Like this is the step from being good to great. So that's the one thing I, I appreciate about landing and going to the doctors on Sunday. Well, let's do the fourth down stop and you talk about the quarterback run. Uh, so there it is. So yeah, what, yeah. what are you thinking? What's going through your mind on your, what you oh, have to do on that play? I just, for me, the whole game was just like, I told the boys, I said, this is a big identity game for us, man. We're going in a, we're going in a great environment. And it was like, there's no way you would ever want to stop me. You know, like the boys, the biggest thing this team asked us was for the the trench trenches to be a lot more physical and make more plays. So I think that was just a big play between me and Brandon. I think it was just funny watching it. Like I was just talking to Brandon. I was like, I, I just saw him just slowly running up. So I was like, oh, and then I saw Brandon tackling. And I just jumped. I just jumped in there and pulled him back, and I was just like, ah, oh, look, fourth down stop, and it was just probably one of the best moments so far. That's kind of epitomized when you're talking about keeping a quarterback in and a mobile yeah. quarterback. Obviously, he was doing a lot on the edge. It's so like, what can a what can a nose or a shade do? Well, you can be a two gap yeah, guy. So, you can be a, a you know filling up the a gap guy. So, what do you do in that spot to help mobile quarter with stopping mobile quarterbacks? Yeah. So for me, it's pretty much just. Close, closing in those gaps that those A and B gaps. And when I get that double, being able to just push one of them back and kind of being able to just keep myself free. So if that quarterback does try to get out and then allowing all my other guys to have one on one blocks, because that helps a lot with someone like me being inside and obviously being in those, you know, they're going to sometimes tend to slide to that guy. So just having two guys on me allows for the rest of my brothers to eat. So and then it also helps that. T.O. goes over it every week with us. Like, this is a cage. Like, when we talk about it with the back end, linebackers. So that's the biggest part about and the emphasis that they put in caging quarterbacks. And I think we just got to improve on it every week. What did you make of Brandon Dorless's play against Tech? Just oh, how good. good was he? Like when you were playing right next to him? Oh, I was good. I just it, I love I love when the boys make plays. That's that's all I want. Like that's what that's the thing that that's the, that's what brings me the most happiness is when all my boys make plays, and it's just like showing all the hard work we went through to camp, you know, and just to finally see it, see us live those out is just great. Silly question. Yeah, <laughs> you played here as a visiting player. You've been here last season. Yeah, four kickoffs. It was always Joker and the Thief of the Night. Uh, we heard in week one, twenty uh, fours. You have a you a Ti fan? Is a who made this? Is was this a player led thing to switch up the? Uh, is twenty fours now the new theme song for for this team or something? Or I don't know who chose that. They got some bad song taste. <laughs> just kidding. No, no, no. No, it's cool. It's cool. No, I'm just joking. I'm just, nah, it's 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 cool. You know, I listen to whatever. So I I just be vibing. I be in my own world with with, with my with these Can two I ask guys. Yeah, question? sure. So hi, Taki Taimani. Um. So for breakfast, you know, I, I know you love breakfast. Um, what's your favorite food? So I don't eat in the morning. I try not to, obviously, you know. But um, I actually I have my my beautiful Starbucks Starbucks um, Starbucks cup, and I just go down to the cafeteria, pour some nice coffee in there, 
some chocolate milk and I just drink my chocolate milk for the morning and I'm all good. Favorite food though, man? I don't like it. Not a fan. Fried Not a breakfast guy. Fried, fried chicken. Not a oh, breakfast guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh.